allow me to wish all of you in the viewing audience uh, the wish of this year you having a very blessed Christmas. I was reading recently that uh, certainly the most popular uh, Christmas carol is that beautiful carol, Silent Night. It was written as a poem in, in 1816, and it was first performed within a church at a little country church, I believe in Austria. Uh, it was written actually by uh, an Austrian priest, Father Joseph Moore. And uh, that uh, Christmas of 1818, uh, the organ was on the blink and in a little church by the name of St. Nicholas. And so Father had given to the organist uh, a melody for this poem. And that year, tradition tells us, was the first recording, if you would, and singing of Silent Night. Just the, the melody and the words of Silent Night uh, move us into the very deep and moving spirit of Christmas. Uh, that first Christmas when Jesus conceived nine months before that in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, was born to the world, uh, our Messiah, a child given to us uh, as God made man. And what a great gift Christmas is in each of our lives. Uh, there is a certain silence in which our busy lives begin to slow down a bit. So many of you will be called to uh, to go to church and to celebrate the Eucharist, often with families, or at least even if at a distance, with those friends who surround you. Uh, I pray that you will have that opportunity to go to Christmas Mass and to celebrate the great gift of a Savior born into your life. In many ways, uh, Christmas is a time of, of being welcomed home. So many times people uh, feel alienated even from their families or from their church. And what a perfect time, a time in which we recall uh, right before Jesus was born, uh, Mary and Joseph went to Bethlehem in search for a home, a place, a temporary home, and there was no room in the inn. Uh, welcoming means allowing us as a church to make room for you this Christmas. If for some reason you have drifted away from the church or, or find that you, you don't feel you have a place within the church, this would be the very time for you to return to the Lord on this Christmas day. And for those of you who are very much involved with your faith, with a, a deep appreciation for the presence of Christ and his church in your life, this is also a time for you to welcome others. Uh, Pope, now blessed, John, the 20, John Paul II, uh, was fond of often saying that faith is strengthened when it is shared. Faith is strengthened when it is shared. Likewise, Faith is weakened when it is hoarded and confined. And so this might be a time also for each of us to reach out to someone in our own families, to welcome them back to Christ and to the church. In many ways throughout the world, there are threats to religious freedom. People who either are discouraged or even prohibited from uh, practicing their faith and living their faith, They're even within our own nation, there are times when uh, the living out of our faith publicly is challenged. This is a time for us to cherish the gift of our faith and in many ways to defend the faith of others. Uh, as I wish you the very true blessing of a deep and abiding Christmas, uh, may the silent night in which Christ was first welcomed into the world be also a time for you to welcome him into your hearts. And may you and your family and loved ones have a truly blessed Christmas.